a storm. I haven't seen a storm like that in 10 years. Certainly, I'm glad to be inside. Some ride over on the boat to this island. It certainly was. I thought we'd never make it. Oh, my. Here. Thank you. <laughs> I don't believe I know you, gentlemen. My name is William Willett. How do you do? I'm John Meredith. Uh, uh, Morton Sloan. How do you do? How do you do? John Meredith here. I received a very strange telegram. Did you... Uh, by any chance receive one of these? Exactly, yes. one just like that, and I have no idea what it's about, do you? Well, I'm not even sure that I met him. Mm. I, Roger Gilmartin, never heard of the man. Very yeah. strange, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Is, is this the Gilmartin house? I received a telegram. Am I late? Ghastly evening, isn't it? Oh, what time does the last boat go back to the mainland? <laughs> William Williamson. My Hello. name is Elizabeth Calvert. Hello, Meredith Sloan. How do you Hello. receive one of those telegrams? Yes, I did. Yes. You. I think we all did. Very <laughs> But you wouldn't want to be on a night like this. Yes, you would. You're the type. <laughs> William Williamson. I know Andrew Bush. Oh, I'm John Meredith. How are you? Miss Calford. How are you? Uh, Morton Sloan. How do you do? Andrew Bush. How are you? Receive one of those telegrams too? Yes, I received one of those yes, telegrams. Oh, it's strange, isn't it? Yes, uh, quite a night out, eh? Yes. Miserable. Yes. Beastly. Terribly. My dad's couldn't hear well. <laughs> Do any of you know why we've been asked to come here? I'm sure I don't know. I don't, I don't even know this man. Idea. I don't know what it is. What the butler knows? I beg your pardon, but you know why we've been asked to come here? Yes, why did Mr. Gilmartin ask us here? Where is Mr. Gilmartin? Good evening. This is Roger Gilmartin speaking. Welcome to my home. I'm sorry that I cannot welcome you in person, but I have an excellent reason. You see, <laughs> I happen to be dead. <laughs> made shortly before I knew I was going to die. You may not remember, but at some time or other during my lifetime, each of you has done me a kindness without knowing that I was a wealthy man. And now I'm going to repay you. I am leaving my fortune to you five people, two million dollars in cash. You're to spend the night here 
And in the morning, my butler Higgins will divide the money among you kind people. <laughs> However, all my life I have believed in one principle, that money is the root of all evil. And even such kind people as yourselves have evil in you. So those among you who are still here tomorrow morning <laughs> will get my entire fortune. Good luck to the survivors. And to the others, I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> seeing you soon. 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 Anybody want to hear the other side? <laughs> Busy Gillespie. <laughs> Slipping in a teapot. <laughs> this is some ridiculous joke made by some prankster. I don't even know the man. Scandalous. That's the idea of a joke if ever I heard it. I think it's outrageous dragging us here on a night like this for a right. mere prank. <laughs> It's not just a mere prank. You look like it. Two million dollars in cash. Why, boy, we're rich, sir. Two million dollars for the five of us. Yeah. Retire for the rest of my life. It's a fun. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, deserves a toast, I yeah, say. Yeah, yes, I say it does. Well, two million dollars is to a new life. A new life. A new life. A new life. Ah. Ah. Two million dollars. Two million dollars in cash. <laughs> Listen, divided amongst five people, that's... Well, that's four hundred thousand dollars a piece. <laughs> I say that four hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars a piece. <laughs> and dead. One of us is a murderer. <laughs> Understand it. Uh, Where would they go on a night like this? <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem rather disturbed. It would 
take a lot of energy to drag two bodies out of a room. Yes. Why are you perspiring so careerly? <laughs> All right, I did it. I took the bodies out of the room. I had to. I had to take it. I couldn't stand it any longer. Don't you understand? I couldn't stand it any longer. You understand? I can't stand a messy room. <laughs> 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 I don't like messy rooms. I think we've had enough of this. I believe we should notify the authorities. We ought to call the police. That's right, people. Right, call yes, the police. Would you please call? All right. I'll call the police. Good. Police! Help! Murder! Murder, police! Oh, don't be ridiculous on the phone, naturally. What sort of an idiot are you? Honestly. Just honestly. Hello, operator. Hello, operator. <laughs> That's right. We, we must, must be, be brave. We must have courage. Yes. We must be brave. Don't we must get a firm hold on ourselves. Right. We've got, got to be brave. That's all. Brave. 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 Got to be brave. Got to be brave. Got to be brave. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Stop, stop. We're behaving like children. Now, let's just be reasonable. After all, the four of us are here. The money is in the safe. And the key is on the mantel. Why don't we just divide the money and our problems will be over? She's right. I'll vote for that. I'll vote for that. He's right. Why not take the money now out of the safe? I'll get the key. That's right. There's no reason why we should wait around. Just get the key and I'll... <laughs> the key's gone. <laughs> key's gone. Gone key. <laughs> This key is gone. <laughs> it's gone, key. The key is gone. We have to find that key before dawn or we won't get the money. What time is it? I don't have a watch. Nor do I. I father's watch doesn't keep time. It just goes bong, bong. Here. <laughs> I'll go check the time on the cuckoo clock. Good idea. He was stabbed. He's dead. The light. The light is gone. Oh, no, I don't like a messy room. Now, oh, wait a minute. For goodness sake, we've got to stop killing each other. What, for the lousy two million dollars, you're going to kill everybody? You forget one thing. Income tax, boy. <laughs> By the way, if it's whoever's doing the murdering, you're murdering for ten cents on a dollar. Let me tell you. Right. <laughs> ten cents. Give me the key. All right, here. Now, I'm going to put it where we can all watch it. And it's up to us to stay awake until dawn so we can get the money. She's right. And stay alive. She's right. We've got to, got to stay awake. We've all got to stay awake. Much willpower.
is a lot of money. A lot of money. People would do a lot for two million dollars. Two million dollars, you can do what you want. So? Please don't kill me! <laughs> now we can share the money. There's no sense in that. We can talk it over if you want a little more. We can get you a little more. Things are not settled yet. We can do a lot of things. So what do you say? No! Oh, you're a nasty person. <laughs> oh, Kirk! When the police get here in the morning, I'm going to turn you over to them. And I'm keeping the money. You didn't fool me for one second. You poisoned that drink. And you knifed the butler. And you put that gun in the cuckoo. And you shot the neat one. And you're the murderer. And I'm going to get all the money. <laughs> Then it was you. It was me. 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 I'll get the money now. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, of course. Well. <laughs>